So continuing with lesson one, why is all this important? Why is it important for us to direct our intention, be aware of our intention, our purpose? And that's important because your intention affects everything, literally everything. Like I said, it's the first example, it's that first ripple and everything that happens, either everything that we create, everything that we do, or everything that happens to us is a result of our intention and the actions that follow. So by directing our intention, we not only direct what our actions are, what the actions are that we choose to perform, but also how we perform our actions. That is, if our actions are performed with care and love, or if our actions are done with ignorance and carelessness. The example I use when training massage therapists is, imagine if you just had a really stressful day and you have to do one more treatment and your mind is occupied, you're not present, your intention just isn't there. And you're thinking about what happened earlier in the day, you're thinking about the things you have to get done tomorrow. Do you really think that is going to be a great therapy session by that therapist's standards? It probably wouldn't be as good as their normal session because, again, their intention isn't there. And the possibilities are limitless. You can transform your life experience in anything you do. Even if it's something you don't want to do, you can do it with joy and do it well. You really transform your life experience. A personal example for me is when I was younger, I had to wake up really early in the mountains to start meditation. My teacher said you have to take a shower before you meditate. And even if it's in the winter and if it's in the mountains and we have no hot water, and I would wake up every morning and I would hate it. I would absolutely despise waking up in the morning and getting in the shower because it was cold, it was miserable, and I just didn't find the joy in it. Until one day I decided to sing in the shower. While I was singing, doing something that I enjoyed, I found that I actually enjoyed the shower. So even though the water was cold and I didn't enjoy that part, the experience as a whole was transformed and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed waking up and being ready and clean for meditation in the morning. And I'm sure my teacher could tell a difference as well. So moving on, let's look at how we can direct our intention and how we can use this knowledge to transform our life experiences.